WAY News at 11. Now in your news at 11, a Carolina Beach woman who scammed people on Craigslist in the past is now accused of a new scam targeting hopeful parents. A North Carolina officer is off the job tonight after he is caught on camera slamming a student to the ground. Plus, shocking video of an elderly woman being pushed over by a law enforcement officer as well. Thanks for joining us tonight for your news at 11. I'm Daniel Siemens. Investigators say a local woman's promises of giving up a baby for adoption were nothing more than a nationwide scam. WWAY's Basil John has more on what happened between the scammer and the alleged victims. It is the big story at 11. WAY News. Right now, George is still in the New Hanover County Jail under a $500,000 secured bond. New at 11, Wilmington police have identified a pedestrian hit and killed Tuesday night. Police say the man was 63-year-old Dennis Darnell Bradley of Wilmington. Multiple witnesses told police that Bradley ran into the 600th block of North 3rd Street when he was hit by a pickup truck. EMS took Bradley to the hospital where he later died. Police say no charges are being filed against the driver of the pickup truck at this time. New at 11, the North Carolina police officer caught on video slamming a female high school student to the floor has resigned. The town of Rollsville said Officer Ruben de los Santos submitted his letter of resignation yesterday. The student who posted the video says the student thrown to the ground at Rollsville High School in early January was trying to break up a fight involving her sister. The video shows De Los Santos lifting and dropping a girl on her left side, then pulling her to her feet and leading her away. He was initially placed on paid administrative leave. New at 11, government inspectors say actual delays in delivering medical care to military veterans remains far worse at Veterans Affairs medical facilities in North Carolina and Virginia than internal records originally showed. Today, U.S. Senator Richard Burr saying the new report by the Veterans Affairs Department's Inspector General found 90 percent of the vets eligible to see private doctors because of long VA delays weren't getting the help they were due. Inspectors estimated that more than a third of new patient appointments had wait times of longer than 30 days. Original, original VA appointment records showed only about 10 percent were delayed that long. Meanwhile, new at 11, after several disturbing photos from the Durham VA Medical Center surfaced online and went viral, medical center officials defend the situation. Officials claim that the medical center is extremely busy, but that they are dedicated to their patients. However, they say that they have made some adjustments to improve veteran care. One of the photos shows a veteran lying on the floor, but officials say that he is the one who kept moving to the floor for comfort despite their efforts to make him more comfortable. Officials also confirm that there was rude behavior that took place, but they have taken disciplinary action. New at 11, a panel of federal judges has allowed a pair of lawsuits to continue. They allege North Carolina's congressional districts are illegal because Republican lawmakers used excessive partisanship in drawing them. To date, the three judges refused to grant the wishes of state legislative leaders and uh, dismissed the lawsuits against the 2016 boundaries for the state's 13 congressional seats. The suits focus on political considerations, arguing the lines unduly discriminate against Democrats and are biased towards Republicans who won 10 of these seats in November. A group representing some of the plaintiffs say today's decision sets the stage for a trial to begin in late June. New at 11, Governor Roy Cooper visited Eastern North Carolina today to discuss his pro proposed budget. Cooper stopping at Excel Learning Center in New Bern, where he talked about investment in early education. It's a key part of Cooper's thank proposed you. budget, which he presented earlier this week. It would increase spending by more than 5% compared to the current budget. The governor defended his plan Wednesday, uh, saying it's time to catch up on spending investments in education. Sheriff City's longtime mayor, Xander Guy, resigned from his p position during an emotional special meeting this morning. It comes as he accepted the job as chairman of the State Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission in Raleigh. It was, yes, an emotional announcement for everyone on the board as he said 
his goodbyes as mayor today. Former Surf City Mayor and current Mayor Pro Tem Douglas Medlin was sworn in shortly after to fill the position. Guy, though, has been mayor since 1999 and received an award on the behalf of the town for appreciation for, of his service and a job well done. He says stepping down was not an easy choice. Guy says Surf City will always be his home. New at 11, parents are looking to get your kids involved in camps this summer should head over to Independence Mall tomorrow because that is when Wilmington Parent Magazine will host camps and other summer activity groups at the Summer Camp Fair, showing you fun ways to get the kids out of the house when school's out. The event is from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. It is in the mall's center court. You can't miss it. Get some good ideas out there. There is something swimming at the aquarium at Fort Fisher this weekend, and it doesn't have gills. Say what? Starting today, the world-famous Weeky Watchy Mermaids are swimming at the North Carolina Aquarium. You will find them inside the 235,000 gallon Cape Fear Shoals tank, along with the sharks, rays, fish, and turtles. They can do that because the mermaids, they can talk to the fish. You'll also be able to meet them up close and on dry land for photos and autographs. One of them stopped swimming for a minute today to tell us why the group is so cool. They get to see us, you know, they get to have, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with mermaids, get to meet us, take pictures. Um, we also have mermaids swimming together, so, you know, you get to see a lot of our moves at home. Um, you know, we do all sorts of flips and all sorts of cool things, and you really get to see, you know, what you envision a mermaid. The fish love the company. The Weeki Watchy Mermaids perform several times a day all this weekend and all next weekend. They are included in the price of general aquarium admission. Clear your calendars. The famous Brett's Donut Shop has announced their opening date for the season. The Star News reports doors open Friday, March 31st, 3 p.m. Get there early because, as you know, or probably know, the first fried rounds of the spring season draw hundreds, if not thousands, of people from near and far. They line up. At first, Brits is going to just open up on the weekends from 8 to 5, but they extend those hours. For more on the schedule, go to WWAYTV3.com. He wears many hats, and he says he'll be back, but not on Celebrity Apprentice. What Arnold Schwarzenegger is saying about cutting ties with the show. Plus, she wasn't at the Oscars. Could this be the reason Natalie Portman announces some big news? Showers could come Tuesday into Wednesday morning and then cooling back down next week. A little rain to wash away some of this pollen. Early, yes, early already pollen. we're seeing those yellow puddles. Yeah. It's yuck. a little early for that. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Scott, <laughs> thank you, sir. You uh, Jane Fonda opens up about painful memories of her childhood in an interview with Brie Larson. The Academy Award winning actress said, quote, I've been raped, I've been sexually abused as a child. Fonda also said she's been fired for not sleeping with her boss. The 79-year-old actress is known for her political activism and her stand against the Vietnam War. This appears to be the first time she has opened up, though, about that past abuse. Fonda says she is speaking out now to highlight how patriarchy takes a toll on females. Arnold Schwarzenegger and former governor of California terminated his ties with the new celebrity apprentice and will not return to host the reality show. In a statement, Schwarzenegger said he would work with the TV team again on a show that doesn't have, quote, this baggage. The actor took over hosting duties for the Celebrity Apprentice franchise in September of 2015. Natalie Portman has a brand new baby kiddo. Portman and her husband welcomed baby Amalia February 22nd, and that could be why the actress didn't show up at the Academy Awards four days later, spending some quality time with the baby, even though she was nominated for Best Actress for her role in Jackie. This is the couple's second child. Portman and her hubs met in 2010 while filming Black Swan. Actress Tori Spelling and her husband, Dean McDermott, following suit. They now have their fifth child together. A spokesperson for Spelling says the actress gave birth to Bo Dean McDermott yesterday afternoon. And in a statement, Spelling called Bo a, quote, true blessing. Aren't all kids. The tale as old as time makes its way back to the big screen. Stars, fans, and many of Hollywood's 
Heavy hitters, the A-list, they gathered at the El Capitan Theater in Los Angeles last night for the world premiere of Beauty and the Beast. Emma Watson's The Beauty, she stars as Belle in the live-action version of the iconic Disney animated film, and then Dan Stevens, he's the Beast, the grumpy love interest. Beauty and the Beast opens nationwide in theaters on March 17th. Scott, uh, Scott, sports is next on WWAY News at 11. Scott's still coming up again, too. But, hey, John has details on the Seahawks finally having an opponent for their CAA tournament opener. Plus, Roy Williams gives praise and lots of it to Wilmington's Stillman White. Later in the week. Enjoy right. the weekend. It's going to be nice and bright. Enjoy the weekend. Brisky. Yeah. And we're going to send you to Sweet Dreams with a moment of Paul, y'all. A rare clouded leopard has been born via artificial insemination in Tennessee. That's a big deal. We'll tell you in a, just a second why. But check out the adorable little guy yeah. entering the world Wednesday at the Nashville Zoo. He'll be raised by, hand raised by keepers at the zoo, just like that. The zoo is collaborating with the Smithsonian National Zoo to help increase the population of the clouded leopard. And this is what I was alluding to. It's considered one of the rarest and most secretive cat species and very hard to reproduce in captivity. So, grumpy so, leopard. Yeah, he, the grumpy cat meat, grumpy clouded leopard. Meow. <laughs> All right, have a great weekend, y'all. Good night. Have a good